I met Robbie when he brought some children into the museum one day, which I was curator in Brecon. And uh, then I saw him again and I said, look, if you want to keep on bringing children in here, I'll give you a pass. So you can come in here at any time. And I did that. And he came in, brought lots of children whose parents were on holiday around here. And uh, the kids loved the museum, but more than that, they loved Robbie because he had a, a Labrador, black Labrador called Lady here. When, when uh, I met him first of all down here, she'd just given birth to about eight or nine pups, lovely little black <laughs> Labrador pups. But in addition to that, he used to find birds that had broken their wings. He had a couple of snakes in boxes that had been ravaged by foxes. Uh, he had guinea pigs. He had all sorts of things. And uh, he just kept them, looked after them until they were fit to go back into the wild, and then he'd release them. And he really was a wonderful character. I wrote a story about him for the children, like for Ellie and Lulu and, uh, and uh, Edward. But I changed it around a bit and said that uh, when he came to the end of his career as a lockkeeper, they were going to throw him out. And the, the, in actual fact, Mrs. Thatcher, Lady Thatcher, heard about it, and she got hold of the officials down here and said, look, I heard about this fellow, Robbie, <laughs> and uh, he must stay. So he, he was allowed to remain here for as long as he wanted. I changed the story to Princess Anne coming down here, because she does come down to stay with the Leg Burks. Sean Leg Burke is her lady in waiting, and that she heard about Robbie and she came around here and, uh, and then reported the fact to her mother. And the Queen thumped the table and said, Robbie must stay. <laughs> but then a lot of fanciful stuff takes place then, including Wilbur the Swan, who taught Tommy and Billy how to fly and things like that. And to speak swan language. And to speak swan language, yes. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's developed now into folklore of this particular part of the canal in San Gunida. Oh yes, well it's the 200th anniversary of the building of the canal in 2012 and this person who owns the coach and horses, I was telling her about this one day and she said, oh my goodness me, the Cadw, who are the sort of uh, authority in Wales to keep everything as it should be in, a be in the Beacons National Park. Sort of the heritage people, are Heritage, they? yes. Yeah. Uh, they thought that this, this was a splendid thing to develop for folklore uh, for this part of the canal. And hopefully people will tell stories and it'll be altered and continue, but Robbie will live on. Fantastic. So your words will become part of the the social history of the Brecon to Monmouth Canal. Well, I hope so, yes. How lovely. Well, well done you.